Hello you boglin fucking pog suckers, Jim Sterling here, and this is quite literally Pogs for Boglins. Yeah, it's a, it's a new game I discovered uh, today. You know, they, they've offered me maybe a little sponsorship deal, uh, so we may see how that goes. Um, joking aside, uh, this was made by Jess Kawai, a fan of the Jimquisition, who made this game uh, inspired by a little goof that was on the Jimquisition a few episodes back, and has brought the idea of Pogs for Boglins to life as a game on itch.io. So all that remains to be done, I suppose, is click play and see how this goes. I've not played it myself yet. Welcome to Pogs for Boglins, here you can gamble your amazing Pogs on imaginary Boglins in order to hopefully win more Pogs back. Unlike competitor Pog gambling sites, you will see the races of the Boglins you've betted on. Transparency is key. Nice. To play, simply choose the Boglin you like. The percentage of underneath represents the odds of winning, although this isn't a determining factor. Scientists have calculated that it will affect how likely a Boglin is of winning, although lower odds result in bigger payouts. Then choose how much you want to bet using our super simple slider. Finally, press race and see how your Boglin did. Good luck! If you come first, you'll- I always come first. No, that's not a brag. You'll win the max number of pogs back. Second, you'll get a quarter of the potential earnings third place. You won't lose any pogs. Alright, any worse than that, you'll lose your bet. You must get a lot of pogs. That's a lot of pogs to become the ultimate pog fucker. Well, shit, let's go. Choose your boglim. We got Chungus odds at 20%, Clank 20%, Doink 20%, Squit 20% and Splat 20%. That's one of those newer Boglins. They tried to relaunch them in the early 2000s. They didn't do well at all. Um, you can't even find the fuckers. I think that's one of the new ones. Oh, that could be... Yeah, I don't know. These ones are old school though, and I will only bet on the old school. So I'm going to go with Clank. They're all at 20%, so it's anyone's win. Pogs. I'm gonna bet the entire part. Here we go. Race. <laughs> All right then. Okay, we came in third, so we lost no pogs. All right. Phew. And remember, children, if you're watching this and you want to bet your own pogs, remember it's not gambling, because it's pogs for boglins. It's there's no money. If you want to do it yourself, make sure you check it out. Link will be in the description. Uh, I have nothing to do with this game. Race again. All right, our odds have changed. I'm going to go with this again. It's the safest bet. The description on the uh, game page does say that there's a lot of RNG involved here. So, as we can see, yeah. That's, uh... oh, hold on, hold on. Ah, was that third again? God damn it. Race again, fine. Chungus, odds at 3%. It's a big risk, let's go. It's all on the line, all on the line. This is very thrilling, okay? Very thrilling. Oh God, what are we doing? Come on, come on. Ah! Last place. Game over, your disobedient little boglins couldn't win you the pogs you need. Now you'll have to start over. Well, shit. All right. Uh... Squit. Place bet. 100, isn't it? Always bet max. Because it's not gambling, remember? This is perfectly safe and legal and fine and fuck off! Third place. I don't deserve a woo for third place. It's not a win. Alright. Clank. Place bet. Race. Come on! Come on, you little shit! That's it! That's it! Yeah, no, no, don't stop! Why would you stop? Yeah! Oh no, you stopped because you were in first place. <laughs> All right. Three thousand seven hundred and eighty-nine pogs. Race again. Uh, what do we want to go with? I'm gonna go with Clank again. That beauty. And we'll bet Max. Yeah, we will. Here we go. Come on. Come on. I got everything on you. Every pog on the line! The second place. So we get something for that, don't we? Oh my god, look at that slow fuck up. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. We could still lose everything. You know what, I said I won't bet on any of the more contemporary looking ones, but those odds are too good. So we're gonna bet 71,900 pogs. Very important. 
Come on. Come on. Oh my god, are you kidding? That's it. No, well, it's not going to catch up now, is it? You little salted fuck. We lost nothing, but... Where are we at? 30% for square. Don't you let me down, you little bastard. Don't you fucking dare. Come on, pogs. Pogs for boglins. Pogs for boglins. I put all my pogs for a boglin. Seventy-one thousand pugs. I'm sitting here wondering what's entertaining about this, um, but considering the you know the likes of your team Martin and your your pro syndicate were drawing in millions of viewers by just doing stuff like this, just clicking a button and seeing what wins. Um, there's clearly an audience for it. Um, I mean, there's an audience for what's it like FIFA. Um, doesn't FIFA do random fucking microtransaction bullshit and unboxing quote-unquote videos for FIFA microtransactions? They're really popular, aren't they? I don't know. I don't follow that stuff, but from what I saw, it's very popular. Same with those Overwatch loot crates. Like, people will sit and watch strangers on the internet open them. Like, I, I don't get that. I really don't, and I, I try and, and keep an open mind about a lot of things, but I honestly don't... I mean, I guess witnessing someone's tenseness and their trials and tribulations, I guess you can enjoy the narrative of that, but functionally, it's not that entertaining. I forget which one I bet on now that I did all that talking, but we'll see whether I won or not. Did I win? Yay! Yay, we got 4,000 pogs. That's good, not bad. Um, I'm going to go with Clank. And I'm betting the farm, the whole pog farm. Also, I know people in the comments will ask. Um, yes, I've seen the, the video Ashens and Nerdcubed did, uh, where they opened a bunch of random pogs. A very charming, very entertaining video. Uh, oh, fuck off. Um, but I will say that I... Uh, I'm surprised but the the quality of pogs that they found. They were some shit pogs. Nothing like the pogs I've got. Like the pogs I remember from the 90s. Yay! Were really good. Like really nice designs on them. Not there were some ones that were kind of repetitive. Like that pog logo one. That was in the the run I remember, but they all look boring and shitty those ones that Ashens and Nerdcube were opening. Um, I think what I'm going to have to do is, if not on the Jimquisition, maybe... It might be on the Jimquisition, it might just be its own separate thing, I don't know, but... I'm going to have to show off my pogs. One set of pogs I got off eBay have ones missing because I threw them around a lot when I was doing different goofs on the Jimquisition. Um, but I do have, I think Series 1 are all still complete in their, uh, in a kind of, you know, plastic pog display sleeves, which I don't have a folder for or anything. Holy shit, that's a zippy little fucker. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to have to show off those pogs, I think. Because the World Pog Federation, the, the ones that kind of stepped up to be the official pogs, um, you know, in the UK in the 90s, they were awesome. Loved them. I've also got some Skeleton Warriors pogs that I got off eBay. And uh, someone very kindly sent me Sonic the Hedgehog pogs a while back. And someone also sent me some Reboot pog slammers, like the plastic slammers. Um, they had characters from Reboot on them. Uh, the old uh, 90s computer... Fuck off! Computer animated show about things that live in a computer. And there are viruses, and they're bad. Like a megabyte and hexadecimal. And they'd infect Yay! the computer. Remember that? You remember that. It was a fun little show. Uh, I'm just going to close my eyes and randomly click. Well, that didn't work. I clicked on nothing. Close my eyes, randomly click. Right, there we go. All right, don't let me down, you asshole. Come on. That's it. No! 
Oh, you cheeky anus. These are pokes for boglins here. Come on, you don't realize what's at stake. All right, whatever. That's pogs for boglins. <laughs> Thanks for doing that, Jess. That's uh, that's fun. Um, and no one claimed the URL actually, as far as I can tell. Like I, I was nominally interested in doing it, but I, I didn't in the end. Um, so that's still up for grabs if anyone wants to make the the actual spoof gambling website. Um, I'm glad it spawned this fun little game idea though. That's cute. I'm gonna go look at my boglins now. I'll see you later. Bye.